Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to reflect an object. I'm going to use this simple image of a can. First step is I'll copy it because I like to have the origin as a backup. We're going to work on the copy. Backup is now invisible. Let us now use the path tool right here. I'm in the design mode, so that should be by default. And now I go over it with the left click first. Don't worry too much about the curves in the first step. I move around in the image holding the spacebar. And I create this simple outline. When I've arrived at the starting point, hold control, it switches to edit and then you can close your shape with the left click. Second step is to hover over these lines, left click drag. On this is how you can create these curves and you will get handles. Just left click drag on the handles to adjust your angle. Whenever you miss click, you can simply press Ctrl Z. I'm happy with this one, so right click, select, use from path. We have currently selected the can, but we want to keep this. So I go to select invert and then I press the delete key and now the background is gone. I go to select none, Well, let me scale it down first a little bit. I use scale tool, left click, I hold control when I do. But maybe it's a little bit too small now. So let me scale it up again a little bit. Once more, I'll hold control, confirm via scale. Now copy this layer. This is going to be our reflection. I need the move tool, not scale, so let me press control Z. Hold control and I drag it downwards so that it's in line. So you should have something like this. Then use the flip tool right here. It's set to layer and vertical. And now you can just left click on the can, so our reflection layer, and it's going to get flipped vertically. You have to rearrange that a little bit. Use the move tool, left click on it, and then you can use the arrow keys. This position is fine. And now you can go down with the opacity right here for our reflection layer, and that's basically it. A couple of more tips you can use, for example, a perspective transform. You can also press Shift P. Make constraint handles checked. And then adjust the angle. You have to reposition it afterwards though. So I zoom in once again, by the way, I hold Ctrl and use the mouse wheel to zoom. But this is a good position. 
Another tip is you can right click on this layer, add a layer mask, make it fully white. Confirm via add. It's important to be on the layer mask, so not the layer. Then use the gradient tool. By default you should see the bucket fill, right click on it, gradient. I have black and white active and then I use foreground to background right here RGB. And then once again I'm on the layer mask. Just left click drag upwards holding control. The bottom is black so it makes it fade out a little bit in the end. And the top is white which makes it visible. When you're happy with what you've got, just merge these two layers and then you can move this around. On this side, you can create a reflection of an object in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.